the scary house across the street from the cemetery, where the girl lived alone with her mother. And something terrible happened. In Millwood, that girl was me. Well, I'm, I'm really happy actually to, to, be, to have the chance to be talking to you about this show in particular. I'm a huge Pretty Little Liars fan. Okay, so good. I'm really, really excited about this show. And the first thing I would like to know is you have worked with, with huge characters uh, like Sabrina, you have worked with Archie Comics uh, on Riverdale. So I, want, I wanted to know how do you handle the pressure of working with characters that people know so well? Yeah, well, well, it's funny. I mean, it's 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 it, every situation is different. The biggest character I worked with was Sabrina because everyone knew Sabrina from the TV show. And in a weird way, she was more well known than Archie and Betty and Veronica. And I even remember when I was trying to do Riverdale, people were like had a vague memory of Archie and Betty and Veronica, but but they it wasn't in the forefront. The way something like like Sabrina with 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 something like Pretty Little Liars, it's when we first started talking about doing a new version of the show. It was it was so much more in the pop culture. It was much more recent, and we decided early on that those characters and those actors were so iconic: Lucy Hale, uh, Shay. We thought that rather than try to recreate them or cast new versions of them. We were going to do a new set of characters in a new same universe, hmm. uh, kind of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but yeah. the Little Liars Cinematic Universe. But it wasn't that we, it wasn't like we were scared. It was just like hmm. that original show is great and perfect and people love it. And we don't need to reinvent it. It like exists as canon in our backstory and in our universe. So, but, so I think in that way, we kind of just sort of avoided it a little bit. Yeah. And it's something really uh, similar to what HBO Max did with, with Gossip Girl and something like that. And it was a huge success. And I think people thought, oh no, they're going to ruin it. And it was the exact opposite. So as I said, I'm really excited about the show. So I, I would like to know which are the main differences because it's, I, as you said, Pretty Little Liars is, is really recent, but everything has changed in this couple of years. So what are the main differences between what we're going to see in this story that we didn't get to see on yeah. in the original show? The original Pretty Little Liars, it was sort of like, a, it was a teen mystery. It was a teen mm. suspense show, t teen romance and stuff. For our version, we wanted to explore a new genre. I mean, the other, the other, the other difference um, that, that is, it's for HBO Max, which is a streaming network, mm -hmm. as opposed to ABC Family, which was a, you know, a more a kind of a more traditional network, yeah. which, which means, you know, not so much that we can, obviously we can swear and that's great. And, and, <laughs> and, and there is violence, though we don't want it to be too gratuitous or exploitative, but we can kind of wade into darker thematic waters mm -hmm. And, and, and explore, you know, as you said, the world exploded over the last two years and changed and, and so many things happened. And the idea of kind of telling a darker version of this story that sort of reflects the darker world that these young women are going through, that, 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 that is, a, a, I think, a difference and, and, and something that was really important to us. And as, as you were saying, the, the original show, it was a kind of a teen mystery. Now we're going to see a little bit of more of blood, a little bit more of horror. But I think the most important thing about Pretty Liars, or me as a fan, is th these characters and the group of friends is something that I, I actually, when I read the books, I said, I don't see them being as close as they were on the show. This was really important for the original show. So how are we going to see this group of friends on this new adventure? Uh, Magdalena, you hit on the essence of the franchise, which is the female friendship. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talked about what we were going to do differently, one thing we knew we weren't going to do is we weren't going to mess with that form formula and the friendship of the of the five girls. In the original Pretty Little Lars, you know this probably as well as <laughs> I do or better than I do, the girls are already friends when we yeah. meet them. For us, we decided that 
that they would know each other, but they wouldn't be friends. It would be this trauma that brought them together. And for us, that's the magic of the show, that friendship. Which character would you like to play on Pretty Little Liars if you get the chance? Uh, that's a really good question. I think probably the, I love them all, uh, <laughs> but I think I would play Tabby, who is the filmmaker who <laughs> loves horror movies. We always joke that she is sort of the writer's avatar <laughs> because we love yeah. horror movies and she knows horror movies. I used to work in a movie theater like she does. My co-creator, Lindsay Bring, used to work in a movie theater. So I think probably I would say Tabby, though I love them all. I need to find out how these things are connected. 